When your marketing message is not clear, your customers will leave your website or your Instagram page instantly. They get confused by your offer and a confused mind will not buy. They don't take action on your call to actions. Nobody engages with your content. Your marketing campaigns will fail or they won't convert and nobody clicks on your emails. In order to have your business stand out, especially in a crowded market, you need to have a strong brand message. It is the foundation to marketing and growing your business and your brand. It allows your customers to understand what you do and how you specifically help them. They will understand your brand sooner, the stronger your messaging is. So if you are ready to find out if your brand message is weak or strong and how you can start creating a strong message to get more dollars in your bank account, you're in the right place. I'm ready when you are. What is going on, savages? And welcome to the Business Savage Podcast. I am your host and your business coach, Cassandra Britton. I am a serial entrepreneur sparking that hunger inside of business owners and reigniting their flame to grow both personally and, of course, professionally. I started my first of multiple businesses at the age of 19, and I have since scaled to six and to seven figures. And I am here to give you the tools that you need to expand your mindset to believing that you are worthy of it all and the practical business knowledge to make it all happen. If you have a sec, go give us a follow on Instagram. It's at the.business.savage. And a reminder to hit the bell in the top corner here so that you never miss a future episode as they air. And lastly, if you've been listening here and enjoying, please take a second and go leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. It greatly helps us grow and has allowed us to reach the top 10% charts globally. So thank you. Let's keep firing up entrepreneurs and empowering business owners to grow personally and professionally. That is why I do this. That is why I write episodes on airplanes, on beaches, in coffee shops, and everywhere that I'm feeling inspired so that we can all achieve that life of freedom. If you are tired of losing customers to poor brand messaging, you have no idea how to build your brand. Maybe you're years into a successful business, but you know that you're leaving leads and opportunities on the table, and you are tired of abandoned carts and creating content that gets zero clicks. I have something for you. I am hosting a completely free masterclass, Awaken Your Brand Message, on November the 29th and November the 30th at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. If you are ready to learn the steps to discovering, creating, and implementing your brand message, I'll be walking you through the step-by-step framework of how exactly to do this taking the guessing work out of building your brand and having our coaches give you the framework to building a message that actually attracts your audience. You can head over to our website, www.thebusinesssavage.com or click the link that is in the direct show notes here for you to join us. And I'll see you guys on the inside. Happy Thursday, beautiful savages, and welcome to today's episode Guys, I'm pretty fired up today. Really, really excited to dive into a technical episode for y'all. As you guys know, branding and marketing, it's where I geek out. So let me take you on a journey today. I'm going to start off with a short story to give y'all a little bit of a reference. I'll then explain what brand messaging is and why it is important for the success of your business. I'll then give you some examples to give you some relatable context. And of course, I'm going to wrap it up with some action items that you can take to get your brand messaging moving dollars into your bank account. Sound good? Let's do this. To start off today's episode, I want to bring in a marketing campaign that I actually just saw. Um, It was on YouTube. I'm not sure if you'll have heard yet. Sorry if I'm being the bearer of bad news for you, but Aaron Carter passed away over, I think it was last weekend now. Um, And I was doing some hardcore Aaron Carter reminiscing. I grew up a little girl listening to his music. So I was pretty sad when I heard the news. And in my search, an ad came up for me that was a really great reminder as a marketer myself that I really wanted to bring into this episode and to share with y'all. 
So the commercial was a market research or like a focus group that was conducted. And they brought a bunch of men and a bunch of women, different ages, into individual rooms. And they gave them all a piece of paper, some pencil crayons. And they asked or instructed them all to draw ketchup. Okay, so they asked them, draw your interpretation of ketchup. That's it. There was no other guidelines. There was no other instructions. There were no restrictions or limitations. They literally just said, draw ketchup. Okay, so that was their instruction. So I'm going to pause here for just a second because I want to give you, all of our listeners here, a second to think about what you would have drawn. What comes to mind for you if you were in this focus group and you were asked to draw your representation of ketchup? Well, over 80% of the people in the study drew a picture of a ketchup bottle, okay? But the common denominator was that it all had one word written on the side of it. And that word was Heinz. That, my friends, is the power of branding. There are many different brands of ketchup. But when asked to draw it, over 80% of the market thought about Heinz. This tells us that Heinz has done an impeccable job of dominating this market. Here's another example for you. When someone needs a tissue, how often do you hear people say, oh, I need a Kleenex. Could you pass me a Kleenex? Kleenex, for any of you who don't know, is the brand. The product is a tissue or a napkin, whatever you want to call it. But Kleenex has dominated the market so strongly that now people are actually calling the product by the brand name. That is the power of branding. Now, certain brands are easier, obviously, than others to do this. Products tend to be a little bit easier than services, but not always. And the concept will always stay true. We want our audience to so strongly think of us when they think of this thing. So what is the customer looking for? Do you know that the customer is actually rarely, rarely looking for the best product? They will choose the product that they can understand the best. That has done the best job at saying, this solves your problems. If your brand message is vague, you will probably have minimal conversion. So how you communicate to your audience, it will shape people's perception of your company and whether or not they are on board. Customers are looking for a stronger relationship with brands, especially now more than ever. They want to be able to feel like you care. Through your brand messaging, it is possible to communicate your values, to inspire them, allow them to trust you, and generate the desire for them to buy your offer. When we have a consistent brand message, it makes it easier for your audience to keep on track with who you are, what you represent, and what it is that you do. So every time you come out with a campaign, a commercial, a new website, a social page, a reel even, it doesn't matter. The messaging is always the same concept so that the public can perceive its identity. You guys following along? Okay, so we have chatted a little bit about why we need a strong brand message, right? And hopefully by now you're starting to grasp how important this is to the success of your business. And here's the thing. I work with many different business owners who have been working in their business for years, and it's been quite successful. But when I ask them about their branding, their marketing, and their messaging, they look at me like I have five heads because they have just been going with the flow and wondering why things haven't taken off faster. Imagine they mastered their branding. Imagine the potential that it could have then. So what exactly is a brand message? Brand messaging is the process of how and what you communicate with your audience. It's communicating your brand values and how I like to put it, How fast can you communicate the problems that you are solving to your audience are the problems that they are looking to have solved. Plain and simple. 
In order for your customers to buy from you, there needs to be multiple, I call them little checkpoints, for them to say their story is my story. They are hooking me in. It's like, check, check, check. They can help me. You guys have heard me talk about the power of storytelling many, many, many times, and that's why in branding, we say that branders and marketers are really good storytellers. The stronger we paint the message to them through multiple marketing efforts that our business is what they need, the sooner we have that light bulb go off and they go, yes, I need that. The stronger your brand message is. So if your customers know you exist, congratulations. Part of your job is working. But if they don't know what you do, your messaging is not working and is not doing its job. If you were to walk into a room, give a spiel, and then leave, what would the audience that you have left behind say about you? What would they say to others about what you do? How effectively did you communicate what your brand does and what you stand for? So let's dive into some examples to give you guys some context, and then I'm going to wrap things up with some places for you to start creating your own brand message for your business or strengthening yours. Because reality is, if you have a business that's turning any kind of profit, you have a brand message. It may just be super weak. It could still be confusing. It may be unclear. And if we can strengthen it, we can grow your business. End of story. So let's start with some slogans. Y'all know what a slogan is. It's a catchy phrase repeated over and over again in all of your marketing efforts and all of your campaigns. Every brand should have one. A healthy business starts with a healthy mind. That is ours for the Business Savage. The main goal of a slogan is for your audience to have an immediate quick concept of what your brand represents. And a good slogan will raise curiosity so that the customer wants to know more. Okay, you have my attention. It's like the pick pickup line at the bar, either it hooks you in, gives you a good laugh and you're into it, or it was a complete turnoff and you walk the other direction. Catch my drift. But ba 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 I'm loving it. McDonald's, right? Blank gives you wings. Red Bull. All right, probably the most common one ever known. Just do it. Nike. Melts in your mouth, not in your hands. M&M's. So slogan is almost like your hook, but the entire brand message is going to be built off and around your slogan. Slogan is just a small part of your complete brand message and your brand strategy. It's a combination of the language that you use, the tone of your voice, the feel to your writing, and the vibe that is given off from your materials every single time the company communicates. Okay, how your audience feels about you really is controlled by your messaging. Okay, friends. So I'm going to call out a few of you that are listening right now. I know many of you that listen here are coaches, consultants, building your own businesses. So give me a minute as I put you in the hot seat, but also hopefully make you aware of an area for you to grow that will drastically help your business. Okay. So many of you specifically are mindset coaches and you refer to yourself as a mindset coach. Guys, Mindset is not a niche. To call yourself a mindset coach and say you offer mindset, that is such a broad category that unless you are actually a mindset coach, you likely don't even know what the hell that means. So many quote unquote mindset coaches are saying that they help clients uncover their limiting beliefs or discover them and rewrite childhood traumas so that they can become the best versions of themselves. Damn. That is beautiful. But do you want to know why that's beautiful to me? Because I am a mindset professional. I understand this stuff to my core, but guess what? I'm not your audience. Your audience is someone who likely doesn't even know what a limiting belief is. Who wants the things that you're talking about, but the terminology that you are using is not resonating with them. You're speaking your language. You're not speaking their language. And because of that, you are struggling to have your audience understand your messaging and you're probably struggling to book clients, right? 
Okay, TED Talk over here, and hopefully I didn't offend any of our mindset coaches that are listening because I know the power of the work that we do. But the reality is that we need a lot of work on our branding and on our messaging. And if you want your audience to start understanding how you actually help them get from depression and not wanting to get out of bed to the life of happiness, fulfillment, and freedom that you are dangling in front of them, we have to be able to speak their language. Make sense? So let's talk about a few of my favorite brands that come to mind when I think of brands with a sick, crystal clear brand message. You guys may not resonate, but you may. Dove. Now, even me just saying that name, you may have heard the tonality in my voice change. You also instantly formed an opinion. Dove has done an impeccable job at communicating its humanized approach. They don't want to be known for beauty. They want to be known for a source of deep-rooted confidence. From their campaigns to their short and milder, I'm going to call it tone, in all of their music, their color palettes, and their advertising materials, they are depicting a softer, more humanized approach. How about this? This is what we call a powerful brand promise, okay? The thing that you promise your brand that you will offer them, that is a brand promise. Listen to this. 15 minutes or less can save you 15% or more on your car insurance. We all know it. It's Geico. That is what we call a powerful brand message, brand promise. They have done such a beautiful job at describing what they do and the promise that they make. It's all in their messaging and it's everywhere. So it is crystal damn clear what problem that they solve. Okay, so I'm not just going to open up this entire can of worms of brand messaging that some of you are brand new to, make a ton of you panic that your messaging isn't right, and then not leave you with some action steps. Of course, I'm going to give you some action steps to take away from this episode. Now, of course, my number one advice is always going to be to work with a professional who can help you with this. This is what we teach inside of Project Brand. This is the entire foundation of the Project Brand digital course. We give you the framework, the template to do this at your own pace with templates and a step-by-step process. You can add on strategy calls with our team if you want to help you with it once you've done the course, if you'd like, or you can simply work through it at your own pace. But here are a few things for you to consider right now, today. Number one. The first thing is you need to ensure you've done properly is identify your audience. A company that is selling sports equipment is not speaking or using the same language that a company that is selling cleaning supplies is. We need to understand what they want. When we understand how they talk, their vibe, their tone, what pisses them off, What makes them say full fuck yes? We can start to craft our messaging that will resonate with them. Okay, so this isn't just knowing their demographics, their yearly household income. Cool. Okay. Brand persona is way deeper. We understand what makes them tick. We want to know them so well that we can be in their head when they are ready to buy, aka we pull them towards us. The second thing is to properly analyze your market. When you start out or you're trying to create a stronger brand message, but you're not really sure where to start, you want to look at your market. Look at what successful players in your space are doing. And by no means will I ever tell you to copy God. I cannot tell you how many people have done that to me. You want to create, never copy, but use them as inspiration. What do you like about what they're doing? What do we not like? Where are their gaps? Where are they missing something? What is not working? And ask your audience. You would be shocked how many people in business will just assume that they know what their audience wants and create an entire brand strategy around it without ever even asking them what they actually want. Here's an example for you guys. When I was actually starting to build out Project Brand, here's a little insider information for you, our new digital course that I've talked about many times. I knew what I wanted it to deliver. I know the main problems that you guys are experiencing when it comes to branding. I know that many of you don't know a strong brand is the answer 
to offers not converting or not making sales. But it wasn't until I started actually doing the market research and having conversations with y'all that I realized what you need is actually much simpler, a step-by-step, a broken down process than from what I had actually wanted to and intended to actually deliver in the program, right? I had to listen to my audience. They will tell you exactly what they need from you if you just listen to them. And then the number three thing that I'm going to tell you to start with is to define the terms that are going to be used in your brand messaging. So start brainstorming the language that you will use. What words do you want to use? What tonality do you want it to have? You guys hear me say all the time here, savage, right? Of course, we use the word savage a lot. So of course, we also use a lot of savage, quote unquote, language. But a lot of the other terminology that we use, it is part of our brand messaging. So what words are you going to use and what words will you not use? Also, what do you want the tone of your voice to be? Like, are you going to be funny or are you going to be really serious? Are you going to be quirky or are you going to be really creative? Like, what is the tone of the actual messaging going to be? And also, here's a pro tip here. If you ever turn this over to a market, um, marketing or sorry, advertising agency and you ever want help with some like badass campaigns or something like that, They will ask for this type of information. You don't want to have to rewrite it. You don't want to have to recreate it. You don't want to have to try to explain it all to them. If you have an actual brand plan, like a PDF document that you can hand over to them, which is what you get when you sign up for Project Brand, you can just turn it over to them. And within a few pages of a read, they will know exactly what your brand represents and what you are all about. So friends, before I leave you for today, the final question that we get a lot around brand messaging is where should we be using our brand messaging? And the answer is everywhere. You should be using it everywhere. Everything you touch, every content you leave, every fingerprint your brand leaves should all be dripping the same brand messaging. Without that, or with confusing, changing, or altering messaging, your audience is likely confused. So here's a simple way and an easy way to find out what your audience actually thinks about your brand. Ask them. (laughs) Simple. I told you. Post a couple of polls on your social. Send out some emails. Ask what your audience thinks of when they think of you. And if it's not what you want them to be thinking of, something has to change for your business to be able to make the splash that you're wanting it to. Lastly, I will leave y'all with a reminder of our completely free Awaken the Brand Within Masterclass I'm hosting on November the 29th and November the 30th. So coming up in a few weeks, 6 p.m. Eastern and 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. If this episode resonated with you and you're finally realizing how damn important branding is and that you need help building yours, we would love to have you join us. If you are tired of losing customers to poor brand messaging, you have no idea how to build your brand and maybe your year is into a successful business, but you know that you are leaving leads and opportunities on the table, then we would love to have you join us in this masterclass. If you're ready to learn the steps to discover, create, and implement your brand message, I will be walking you through the step-by-step framework of how to do just this taking all of the guests and work out of building your brand and have our coaches give you the framework to build a message that actually attracts your audience and helps your business stand out. You can head over to our website, www.thebusinesssavage.com or click the link that is in the show notes here to register and to join us for the event. And I can't wait to see you guys there. Well, savages, that is all that I have for y'all for today's episode. If you found this episode helpful, grab the link and share it with somebody that you know and could afford to regain control of their business. And again, we would love to see you and all of your other business entrepreneur friends at our free Awaken the Brand Message Masterclass, November 29th and November the 30th. Don't forget to hit the bell at the top corner so that you never miss a future episode and follow us on Instagram for all of the beautiful things that we are sharing. Remember, a savage will get knocked down but they will always get back up. Keep on fighting. Peace, guys.